Hi guys, back in the car again today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you today how to fit some HIDs. Uh, I've never had uh, aftermarket HIDs before, but I do know the standard EP3 headlights are, are pretty terrible. Uh, this time of year is starting to get pretty bad, having trouble seeing uh, seeing what's going on down the road. So I thought we'd give it a go. Um, I got a kit from uh, from a website which uh, links on the uh, on the Civic Forum. So uh, I'll put a link up in the in the comments in a minute. Um, basically, the kit consists of five parts: um, two bulbs, which are these things. Uh, two ballasts, which are these things, and a wiring loom as such. Uh, I'm going to give it all a little trial fit, make sure it all works, and then I'm going to go back and show you guys how to uh, how to wire it all in properly. Cheers. So I've just tacked the wiring together just to see what it looks like. I thought I'd just show you this. So this is the uh, uh, the uh, offside bulb, um, standard bulb. You can see the yellowy kind of brightness. Um, that's what it looks like as a standard bulb. So. I'm actually just going to put the HID in just so you can see what it looks like, uh, and then uh, and then I'm going to take it all apart again. So that's one fitted. I think you can tell there's quite a bit more uh, a bit more light coming out of there. It's a lot whiter, brighter light, so it should help me to see a lot lot clearer. Very nice. Okay, so first things first. This is your uh, bulb in the bulb holder. Uh, basically, this uh, this comes apart. So what you do is you twist it apart where these lines are, and um, the bulb holder then goes in in place of the bulb in the car. And then the bulb itself will will slide in and click back into place once you've got it all wired up. So your bulb holder goes here um, to unplug the bulb, pull the uh, pull the wire off, and then you need to remove this rubber cover. Nice and simple. Get that out of the way, and that leaves your bulb exposed. Kind of hard to see, but it's held on with a, a metal clip. Um, and the idea is you uh, push the metal clip in at the top, push it across to one side, and that will release your bulb. Um, if you, if you get this far, you'll kind of see how it goes in. And then the idea is your bulb holder goes in in place of the bulb and you clip it back in in place. So give that a go. There you go, put the light on this time so you can see it now. Um, and that's the, uh, that's the clip that holds the bulb in. So you can see in the top corner, there's uh, a little um, a little latch. You push it in and push, it, push the top in where the uh, U-shape is and push it across to one side and that will release the bulb. So that's the bulb holder in place now for the uh, new HID bulbs. And then the idea is you slide the bulb in, uh, click it, uh, click it a few degrees round, and it will lock into place. Okay, so that's the bulb holder in place. What I've done is I've put the uh, um, the rubber cover back over the top, and then your HID bulb slides in through the hole, turns a couple of degrees, and uh, and clicks into place. So pretty straightforward. Um, there we go. There we go. That's the dust cover back in place. Uh, the bulb clicked in and wiring ready to present. So now I'm going to try and find somewhere to mount the ballasts. Um, got a couple of ideas. I'm thinking over here on the inner wing somewhere. So I'm just going to have a look at those and then I'll, I'll show you where I'm going to. So here's the actual wiring loom laid out. Um, lots of wires. There's a big wire that feeds across here to the other side. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward. On this side, you've got a red connector that connects to live on your battery. You've got a black connector which connects to an earth. Um, this is the plug that plugs in where your bulb used to plug in to get the feed from the car. Um, you've got a plug that plugs onto the ballast, uh, a plug that plugs onto the bulb, and then across the other side, you've got the same two plugs and also another earth connector. So your earth socks, you just have to go somewhere with a good, uh, a good solid earth. Um, and uh, but I'm not going to connect any of it up until I've got it all laid out and plugged into the bulbs and the ballast. So I'm just going to do all that first. Okay, so as you can see, I've kind of rooted the wires where I need them to go. I've connected the live on the driver's uh, sorry the uh, neutral on the passenger side to the battery because that's a common earth. It's fine. And the other one I've grounded uh, just down there on the mount for the um, uh, for the for the ABS pump. So it's just down there out of the way. What I've done is I've connected everything else up because I'm just going to uh, do a, a test run to make sure everything's all ready to go. All I need to do is connect, connect my live to my battery. So just uh, put the cover up. There's a nice 10mm bolt there, nice and simple. And it's easier if you slide the connector in between these two plates. It gives it a nice solid um, connection when you bolt it all up. So I'm going to plug it all in um, and then I'm going to just check it's all working before I show you where how to connect everything up and, and do it all. It's all pretty simple because all the connectors are different. You'll see there's uh, uh, connectors here that go just from the ballast to the uh, to the bulb and from the ballast to the wiring loom and then you've this plug which connects to your normal um, headlight bulb connection on the driver's side you only have one of those um, as like I said you've then got your relay box and your uh, your power supply and then on the other side it's all a repeat again as well so um, connectors to the bulbs which are sided so you can only plug them in one way um, this is a feed from the uh, from the main wiring loom 
Again, only plugs in one way, nice and simple. Uh, and your ballast plug is a big red one that only plugs in one way as well. So you can't really go far wrong with that bit as long as you've got it all laid out. Um, and then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna plug it in, check it all works. So that's a pretty decent test, everything working, which is nice, nice to see it all up and running. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just start um, connecting, putting everything kind of where I want it to go. So I need to find a home for the ballast, uh, home for the uh, the relay, and then obviously plenty of um, cable ties to tuck this as far out of the way as possible. Uh, and then we'll mount this relay over here as well. So I'm just going to start going around, um, tidying it all the way, and then I'll show you what I've done uh, when I finish. Okay guys, that's the wiring all done. So I've mounted the relay just on top of the battery stay, nice and securely there. Um, and then the wiring, as you can see, I've just tucked it away uh, up here. And I've actually put the bars right over there on the inside of the wing. Um, I've actually moved the uh, the earth connector for the driver's side down here. This is the, the main earth from the battery. So instead of actually, ha actually connecting to the battery, I've connected it to the body down there instead. Um, should give a slightly better earth. And then the rest of the wiring, as you can see, tucked away behind the... Uh, behind the front panel, uh, all the way across, doo -doo 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 -doo, and there's wiring on the uh, passenger side, so again, put the ballast up here, and all the wiring tucked away, plugged in, plenty of cable ties to secure it, hide it away, keep it away from anything hot, um, keep it away from anything sharp edge, so you don't have to worry about any rubbing through, and then that's it, all plugged in, all ready to go, so I'm just going to give it one final fire up, make sure it's all okay, and then uh, that's it, all done. Okay guys, all done for another day. Thanks again for watching. I'll put a link in the description of where I got the bulbs from, so if you want to uh, buy yourself a set, that'll be nice and easy to find. Uh, also, I've got my uh, my Premier Recaros in the car now. I meant to do a little video of showing you how to fit those, but I did get sidetracked doing something else. If you, uh, if you need anything else, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks very much.